What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. This week we're gonna be talking about the new 2023 EV tax credit and this is for the United States. But before we get into that, a very small portion of you that are watching this video are subscribed. If you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button or giving this video a like, it does help us out and it helps out the YouTube algorithm. Thanks and let's get into the video. Around Q3 of last year, the federal government got rid of its $7,500 tax credit and stated that a new tax credit beginning in 2023 has different requirements. Prior, if manufacturers hit 200,000 vehicles sold, they would lose the tax credit. These new requirements were outlined in the Inflation Reduction Act. These requirements include being manufactured in the United States, as well as a certain percentage of its battery components coming from the United States or other countries that are part of the Fair Trade Agreement. And this percentage would go up as the years go on. The battery capacity of the vehicle must be at least 7 kilowatt and the weight of the vehicle must be less than 14,000 pounds. There are also price caps. If the vehicle is a van, SUV, or a truck, it can exceed more than $80,000 and other types of vehicles such as sedans must be under $55,000 to qualify. Also, your gross income must be less than $150,000 if you're a single filer, $225,000 for head of households, and $300,000 for married couples who file together. There's also no minimum selling cap for the new tax credit. So even if manufacturers go over the 200000 cap that was there before, it doesn't matter. Even if they go to 250000 or half a million, you'll still get the tax credit. Another thing to keep in mind is you need to have a tax liability higher than $7,500 to get the full credit. If it is lower than $7,500, then you'll only be able to get that much credit. For example, if your tax liability was only $4,500, then you're only going to get $4,500 back for the tax credit. Digging a little deeper on the battery requirement, currently the various battery components must be at least 50% manufactured or assembled in North America. This number changes to 60% for 2024, and then will change to 70% into 2026. This number will increase by 10% per year until 2029, where the entire battery must be manufactured or assembled in North America. But keep in mind, this requirement is not being enforced until March 2023. Based on these vehicle requirements, there are a limited amount of vehicles on this list that qualify. Let's go through them. Honda does not have any vehicles that qualify. Audi has their 2023 Audi Q5 plug-in hybrid with a max MSRP limit of $80,000. BMW has their various model year BMW 330e, which is also a plug-in hybrid, and their BMW X5, xDrive 45e, and these both have an MSRP max of $55,000 and 80,000 respectively. For Ford, this is including Lincoln as well. They have their Ford Escape plug-in hybrid, the E-Transit, the F-150 Lightning, and the Mustang Mach-E. From Lincoln, we have the Lincoln Aviator Grand Touring and their Corsair Grand Touring. Next up is General Motors and they have the Chevrolet Bolt the Chevy Bolt EUV, and the Cadillac Lyric. Hyundai does not have any vehicles that qualify, Jaguar Land Rover does not either, and to join them on that list, Kia, Mazda, Mercedes-Benz, or Mitsubishi do not have any vehicles that qualify. Nissan has their Nissan Leaf that qualifies, Polestar, Porsche, Portera, do not qualify. Rivian has two models including the R1S and the R1T. 
no idea what this brand is, but they're the holding company of Chrysler and Jeep, and those include the Chrysler Pacifica plug-in hybrid, the Jeep Wrangler 4XE, the Jeep Grand Cherokee 4XE, which are also plug-in hybrids. Subaru does not have any vehicles that qualify. Tesla has their Model 3 and Model Ys that qualify, but keep in mind, it has to be the seven seat variant to actually get the MSRP limit of $80,000. Toyota has no vehicles that qualify. Volkswagen has their ID4, and if it's the all wheel drive variant, the MSRP limit goes up to $80,000. Volvo has their Volvo X60 plug-in hybrid, and there's various models on this list. So those are all the vehicles that qualify currently as of today for the $7,500 tax credit here in 2023. Hopefully in the future, other manufacturers such as Kia, Hyundai, Toyota, and the rest of them get added to this tax credit but unfortunately, with the, manuf the requirement to be manufactured in the United States, that may never happen. Thank you all so much for watching this week's video. We'll catch you next week. Peace.